I'm really not good at spelling. It, it's just a problem that I have. Um, and the reason I'm bringing it up right now is because for five years, I misspelled the word uniformly. Uniformly. In fact, I thought, I thought it was uniformly. It's actually uniformly. And as you can probably tell, and in some previous videos, I have a really hard time saying this word. Um, and so for five years, students sat through my class and watched as I repeatedly misspelled uniformly. Approximately a thousand students in this time watched and didn't say anything until one day a student raised her hand and said, Mr. P, I think you misspelled uniformly. Imagine my incredulity at this statement. Did 1,000 students really sit through my class and not notice? But why is this important to talk about? It's because we all have certain tasks that we're good at and we also have certain tasks that we just aren't good at. Uh, one of them for me is spelling, another one is actually drawing. Um, some of you in this class will discover that you have a numbers dependency. Some of you will discover that you are directionally impaired. You will have to admit it and deal with it. I will give you coping strategies to help you deal with lack of skill in particular areas. But you have to work with the brain that you have. This is a major part of learning. In addition to this, it's very important that you admit you don't understand something and ask. This is how we learn. You have to ask. Ask your teacher. I will fully admit that this is difficult for me. I think it's difficult for a lot of people, but I will do my best to model this behavior. You have to let go of your pride. You have to be humble. Admit you don't know and ask. Ask your teacher, please. This is especially important in physics because in physics, the topics just build on one another. For example, we just learned about constant velocity and uni uniformly accelerated motion. And next we're going to learn about free fall, and free fall is just UAM where we already know the acceleration. Then we're going to learn about projectile motion, and projectile motion in the x direction is constant velocity, and in the y direction is just free fall. Which means if you don't understand the UAM equations, then you won't understand free fall, and then if you don't understand free fall, you won't understand the projectile motion equations. Because the topics build on one another. In physics, we slowly create a better and more accurate picture of the world around us, and the topics just build on one another. So be humble, let go of your pride, admit you don't know, and ask. Ask your teacher. As a side note, I misspelled coping when I was writing the script. I thought it was spelled cooping. In addition to that, I misspelled instantaneous when I was writing the next script. Evidently, there's an O in there I was unaware of. And you can't imagine the number of times I've spelled instantaneous. And yeah, I misspelled it the first time when I wrote it. Spell check, of course, helped me out, uh, which was not helpful for coping because cooping is a word. Thanks. Thanks for learning with me today. Really, thanks.